Mmm. You know, lemons aren't just a great source of vitamin C. They're a great source of charged particles. The lemon juice inside the lemon provides a great medium for electrochemical reactions. As zinc from this galvanized nail dissolves into the juice, the nail itself becomes negatively charged. As copper from this penny dissolves into the lemon juice, it becomes positively charged. Theoretically, the voltage difference between these two should be about 0.9 volts. In practice, about 0.56 volts. A lemon battery, being essentially the most primitive sort of battery, cannot push a lot of current or generate a lot of voltage. But if we stack a few of them in series, we can create enough voltage to drive an LED. So here we have the electrodes of each lemon hooked up in series. Copper to zinc, copper to zinc, copper to zinc, copper to zinc. And at the very end, we have our LED. The total voltage here is about 3 volts. And the resistance of the lemons is what's going to limit the current coming through this LED. Of course, modern batteries will use things like lithium ions to power stronger devices like computers and cars.